Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. My microphone was closed. Hello, good evening. Nice to have you in class. It is exactly the time to get started, okay? Okay. So here we go. But here, let's hold it. Okay, because Sum was telling me that I was muted. Okay, so thank you, Miss Jennifer, for joining the class and Miguel Angel. Remember, tomorrow no class, only today. But here we go. Let's get started. I'm going to start as every single day. Okay, sharing with you my PPT. Today is September 14th, 2023, and here we go. In the agenda for today, we have the welcoming, what I did first. Then we're going to have the objectives. One of you, as every single day that we have been meeting here, has been helping me the same as today. In our activities, we have to ask and tell information related to marketing strategies. So the ones who are uh, working on sales, maybe they are going to help us a lot, yeah? And if we have someone who is a marketer, it's going to be better to practice a conversation, to answer reading comprehension questions, practicing how to use frequency adverbs, writing sentences about the activities you do at your workplace using frequency adverbs. And that's the agenda for today. Again, here, the reminder, because there are some people who are mm -mm, zero and zero in week one, section one, and section two on the platform. So, but the people who are here, they are, you know, exactly working as it is required. Then, thank you, Miss Jennifer, because you are following the requirements, your full name. Your camera is on, your microphone is um, off, and you always participate actively. So the attendance, just a reminder, okay? Remember that every se second counts, every minute counts, okay? And the attendance will be taken twice, about at about 8.20 and at about 9.40. Remember that even though you are sometimes a listener, you need to say presente here or here I am in order to consider as valid and effective your attendance. The one-on-one -on -one session always available, yes, at the end of the class. And remember, I am not authorized to give permissions to anybody, neither the administration of English Corporativo. So, said that as i was telling i was um, thanking miss jennifer because she has her microphone off camera on and we have available the two chats via zoom and via whatsapp we're going to be working in the breakout rooms and when you are there remember the ask for help button will be available for you and as usual i am asking you respect above all for everybody okay and here we are in week number two section two i suggest you to continue working on the platform because remember that by september the 20th this section must be done and here you have to take your mid-test term yeah 
But if you want to continue, go ahead. Continue. The sooner, the better that you finish. And here we have the objectives. <clears throat> Who is going to be the volunteer today? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Please begin. Objectives, general objectives. Participants will use adverbs of frequency. A specific objective. Participants will be able to discuss information related to marketing strategies. Class objecti objectives. At the end of the class, participants will ask and tell information related to marketing. Strategies right. using adverbs of frequency. Excellent. Very well. So the focus here is number one, grammatically talking, frequency adverbs. Yes? yes. You already know them. And uh, the common uh, vocabulary and the common situation that we're going to be uh, learning from the manual and also from your partners is marketing strategies, correct? In order to do that, we're going to go over our activity number three. Here, we're going to be asking and telling information related, associated, that deals to marketing strategies. The purpose of this activity class is that you ask and tell information related to marketing strategies. First, the instructions are, Let's work as a group. You listen to the instructions. You group, you work in groups, okay, because it is a group work. You work in a small groups and you ask and answer the questions in exercise one, page 21. Remember, it is an oral activity. You don't have to write, no writing, only speaking. And this is what I am telling you. The questions for the activity are, what is an important strategy restaurants could implement to get more clients? What are some successful restaurants that you know? You are going to mention some of the successful restaurants that you know, uh, that they have a lot of customers and they are growing because they have different branches, okay? But the first one is what is an important strategy, in your opinion, Restaurants could implement to get more clients, okay? And I don't know if you have a question. Do you have any question about this activity? A question. Okay, tell me. What is the question? Or no questions? No questions. Okay, so I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. So you can start working, asking, and answering those questions. But um, let me see. I'm going to share that in case that, okay, hold it. Let me see. Over here. In case that you, by any case, you don't have it under any circumstance, okay? So here we go. And you can have it in your cell phone via WhatsApp. Okay, yes, this is your group. And there you are. Okay, but you have it in your manual, correct? So welcome to the ones who join a little bit late, but here we go. Hmm, how many listeners do I have? One, two, let me see, because sometimes many listeners and only one participant and that participant cannot participate. So here we go. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. But someone, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to share with you the uh, invitation. Here we go, class. Okay. 
Reina, I'm going to share with you the invitation right now. Okay, Reina? Reina, please go to group number three. Okay, join your groups and let's begin asking and answering the questions. Okay, Evelyn, please join your group. If you are so nice, they are waiting for you. Jennifer and Reina are waiting for you. Miss Evelyn, in group number three. Hello, Evelyn. Evelyn, are you there? Miss Evelyn. Evelyn Molina, Alvarez, your classmates are waiting for you. Oh, oh the second device, Evelyn, okay. You are having problems. Go to group number three. Your partners are waiting for you. Okay. Jennifer and Reina are waiting for you, Evelyn. Evelyn, the connectivity. Okay, great. Hola, hola. Sí. Ay, okay. Sorry, Miss Jennifer, but you know Evelyn was having problems and I had to fix that situation because she is with two devices, right, Evelyn? Okay. Okay, Reina is here, uh, Evelyn and Miss Jennifer. Okay, begin practicing, please. Give your opinions. Okay. Okay. Uh, ¿Me podrían compartir la captura que no alcancé a, a tomar? Uh, oh, no sé si... In WhatsApp, it is, it is in the group. In WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you, Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I think in this question is uh, um, el tema de se, se me fue la palabra, perdón, Espérenme, quiero acordar. Es implement to get um how a good at uh, the customer service i think mm -hmm. tener yeah. buena atención al cliente yeah mm -hmm. yes be cleaners o mantener Good price. Keep clean, yes. Limpio. Limpio. Clean. Uh -huh. eh, de... Only two participants here. Did you share with Edwin Esau, Mr. Abrego? Uh, no, teacher. Um, he's... Uh -huh. okay. he's he's not I'm available. Going, I'm going to transfer you to another group, okay? So you can practice with them. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, because that is what I tell you that. Okay, let me see. Okay, to do number one. Okay.
good, chef. good presentation in the personal too. Ah, okay. How do you say precios accesibles? Eh, a mí me salía según San Google. Is accessible price. Literally, but you may say good prices. Good ah, prices. Right? Good mm -hmm. prices. Yes. Buenos precios o accesibles yes. precios. Okay, here class, you have Mr. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego Ramirez. He is part of the team, okay? Yeah, okay. So okay. consider him for the participation. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, what more? Okay. También estaba viendo eh, Better Customer Service. ¿Cómo? Ahorita se la estoy enviando ahí. ¿Cómo? 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 Ya con eso tendríamos tres. ¿Qué más? Mm, yo creo que po mm, dejémoslo ahí quizás y contestamos la otra. Bye. Ok. Mm, I'm sorry for the interruption. Susana Carolina Rosales Escobar is part of your group. Ok. And Good evening, is, teacher. Okay, good evening, welcome. So Hello. Your, your partners, your active partners are Miss Evelyn Jamilet and Miss Jennifer Beatriz, okay? Hey, teacher. Hello, teacher, no puedo escucharle. Okay, I am telling you that your partners... I don't know, the others... Pues so you ustedes me mean. oyen, pero yo no les puedo escuchar. Miss Jennifer, do you listen to me? Yes. Uh, hola, hola. Okay. Hola. We listen to you, but you don't listen to us. Nosotros le escuchamos a usted, Susan, pero usted no nos escucha. Check out the volume of your... No, Susan. Okay, I'm going to write here the chat. Hola. And now, Susan, can you listen to us? Si nos escucha. Sí, ya les puedo escuchar, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. you didn't click on the use the audio of the computer, right? ¿Cuál era el problema? No, pero ya, hoy ya no les oigo. Hola. ¿Algo le tocó? No sé si me oyen ustedes, pero me pasa que oigo el inicio y luego ahorita ya no escucho nada, nada. Pero las primeras frasecitas sí las escuché al nomás conectarme. 
no sé qué le está pasando. Me funcionó porque me salí y volví a entrar, pero ahorita no les escucho nada. El problema es que traje mi, mi teléfono descargado desde el trabajo y ahorita no me ha agarrado nada de carga. Voy a volver a intentarlo, salirme y volver a ingresar. Ok, continue with the activity. You continue with the activity. Yes, okay. because tech problems, you know. Ok, she's um, coming back. Ah, oh, no, Marisa. El, el fire, ¿qué dijo? En el chat quiero ver. Fire prices. Ah, son precios justos. Oh, ok. Entonces, las, los restaurantes famosos, pues, podría ser el pollo campero. Aquí hay bastante. Los cebollines. Ah, pizza hat. Más que todo en este, en este mes, Mr. Dona. <ríe> Súper famoso. Hello, Edward. How are you, Eduardo Flores? Hello, licenciado. Hello, you, teacher. Uh, listen, your classmates have two questions for you. Ask him a question. Espera, 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 no, espera. Again, please, teacher. Your classmates have two questions for you. The two questions are the ones that I shared via WhatsApp tonight. Okay. okay. Try to answer them, and you okay. share your answers with the with the class, okay. with the partners. Okay, no problem. ¿Cuál otro podría ser? Okay, Susan, do you listen to me? Susan, hello, hello, are you there? Susan, activate the microphone. Ya, ahorita sí, les estoy escuchando. Probé con los audífonos, pero tampoco, pero ahorita les escucho. Okay, so um, your classmates are working on the two questions that I shared via WhatsApp tonight, okay? Okay. Try to give an answer to those two questions and then we get back to the main session room, okay? Okay. Okay. Your partners are Miss Evelyn Jamilet, Miss Jennifer Beatriz, and Mr. Eduardo Flores because Kathy and Reina are commuting to their uh, house. houses, okay? Tom, see you in a couple of minutes. Bye. Finish. Did you finish answering the two questions? Finish. Okay, great. So, class, if I ask you, for example, tell me one strategy that you consider could be really, really successful and important for any restaurant in order to uh, work better with the customers to get their attraction. What could it be? Uh, free delivery is really important. 
important. But you know, because this I'm, is, uh -huh. tell me. Because I, I think that some places or restaurants, they, um, you have to pay an extra mm -hmm. for the delivery. Okay, Sonia. Do you have any comments? Uh, yes, a uh, prom promotion on social networks. Okay. Clean est establishment. Establishment or Estab places, clean places. Okay, delicious food. Ah, good quality food. Yes. Okay, and but I was about to make a comment on what Mr. Guillermo Eduardo said, and it is that in some some business, what they do is that they give you one price, but in the price it is included the delivery, and they tell you, uh, free delivery. Yes. Uh -huh. the, the the idea that you don't have to to pay extra for the delivery sometimes it's not so attractive to customers because they say mm, with that money i could do this this and that yes and one of the successful restaurants name only one successful restaurant in our country hello what could it be one uh, successful restaurant in your opinion? Mm, Pollo Campero, for example. McDonald's, Denny's. Okay, yes, very good. But we're going China. to analyze China, we're going to analyze the strategies that they have. Yes, because some of them have 24 7 service. Yes? And no. I know that Dennis has uh -huh. the service. 24-7. 24-7, yes. Okay. And before pandemic, for example, there were some Mr. Donuts that they had that service 24-7. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. You're but, right. Uh -huh, but with the pandemic, no, and, and some Wendy's, I think, yeah. But now I don't know if they are getting back to the to the normal that we had before pandemic. But anyways, we're going to discuss that. So today is a lot of discussion day. Thank you for your opinions. Let's get back. Okay. Okay, class, before we go over the discussion of what you did in the breakout rooms, I'm going to call your names in order to take your first attendance. Here we go. Um, yes, Miss Ana Cristina is absent. Andre, absent today. Uh, Arely Isabel. Arely. Present teacher. Uh -huh, uh -huh, because I see you, but Carlos Enrique Rivas. Carlos Enrique, absent. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Dani. Present. Yes, you're here. David Emanuel, absent right now. Daisy Carolina. 
Daisy y Carolina is absent. Edwin is a Here. Okay. Um, Elizabeth, uh, Miss Carla Minero, absent today. Evelyn Jamilet, here. Present. Thank you. Yvonne, Gilibon Mejibar. Gilibon, absent. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego. Present teacher. Ah, yes, you're always here. Thank you. Henry Giovanni, absent at the moment. Jennifer Beatriz. Present. Always here. Very well. Juan Eduardo Flores. Eduardo Flores. Eduardo Flores. Absent Eduardo Flores. Okay. Next one. Catherine Beatriz. Catherine. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Miss. Katia Maria. As a listener. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Miss. Miguel Angel Santos. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Noé, are you here, Noé? Noé Gustavo. Absent. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Eduardo is absent. Oscar Humberto, absent. Reina. Reina is commuting. Then we have Rosalie Bond. Rosalie is absent. Sonia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Y Rosalie le acaba de poner en el chat present. In which chat? En el chat de, de... Sí, en el chat de Zoom. Oh, oh just joined, okay. Esteli, Ursula Esteli. Esteli. Okay, thank you so much. Now, class, let's continue. Ah, but I'm going to take the picture of you. Mm, many times, many times. No problem, Miss, because uh, you wrote in the groups that you are commuting. I take your, I took your attendance. Now, I'm still asleep. I'm still Yes, I think so. Driving, sh sleeping with the heavy traffic. Uh, I miss Carla Minero is here. Okay. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Okay, my pleasure. So here we go. Activate the cameras, please. So Sorry. I can take the picture of you. Uh, to the count of three. A nice smile because tomorrow no classes. Tomorrow, hey, tomorrow please enjoy your Independence Day, okay? <laughs> One, two, three. Say yes. Okay, nice smiles. And you're going to see that beautiful picture right now. And yes, this is your group. Mm -hmm. Now, class, uh, we have a, a very interesting topic for the ones who joined recently because, you know, we have had different kinds of experiences uh, in different restaurants. Sometimes the, mm, the advertisements or the publicity tells you only marvelous things yeah, about that place. But when you get to the place, you feel disappointed. You feel sad because your expectations were not met. Okay, And today we have been working for the ones who joined recently, I'm going to share here the manual, okay? Your partner's class, we're working on exercise number one, yeah? Here, what is an important strategy? They were discussing this. They were working actively because what is an important strategy restaurants could implement to get more clients? And the other question was, what are some successful restaurants that you know? So here the question is, first question, okay? And we're going to listen to different uh, opinions. All the opinions are good and are acceptable because it is your opinion. And they are asking for opinions, okay? So we respect all of them. The question goes for everybody. What is an important strategy restaurants could implement 
to get more clients. Okay, opinions? Good service. Good service, very well. Another one? Low Most price. Frequent. Low prices, yes, Miss Jennifer? Most frequent uh, discounts and promotions. Okay. Um, discounts to the most frequent uh, customers. Yes. Another one? Varied and attractive menu. A varied and attractive menu. Thank you so much, Susan. One more. So you see, you know a lot. Because that is what you would like to have when you visit a restaurant. Uh -huh. I, I think that it is important to have different methods of payment. Excellent. Great. That is another one because in some places they tell you only cash. Yes. And if you only have uh, plastic money, that is a problem. Another one? They don't mean Say it again, Danny. Table cleaners. Ah, clean tables. Yeah. Clean they, tables. Yes. Hygiene, hygiene must be present everywhere because you're going to eat. Yeah. Another strategy. Uh, Guillermo Eduardo, the one that you were saying about uh, delivery. A free delivery. Excellent, thank you. And one more. Good customer service. Yes, thank you, Marisa. Good customer service, among others. Okay, later on, you're going to start uh, thinking about that. Ah, somebody said delicious food in the breakout rooms. I listened to that. Delicious food and what else? Ah, the do you feel attractive when you see a good decoration in the different restaurants yes or no yes okay now it is the time for you each of you has to tell me one restaurant that you consider is successful okay each of you think about one restaurant that in your opinion is successful delicious food uh Nice prices, a good decoration. Also, the location is very important. Yes, that you get uh, parking, mm -hmm. a good parking. It's good because it is a problem in our country, right? To get a, a parking lot. And if you're going to spend one or two hours, so imagine. Okay, so it is now the time for you to say the name of a restaurant that, in your opinion, is successful. Let's begin with Miss Jennifer. You don't have to repeat. You don't have to repeat the restaurant. Okay, Jennifer. The Greenhouse in San Benito. Oh, yes, the Greenhouse says, you know, nice because you can be indoors and outdoors. Yes. And you have air conditioning. Also, you have... In the indoors, you have air conditioning or no air conditioning, yes? Or outside, yeah? Under the tree. Yeah, and the decoration is really important. And another strategy that that restaurant has is the spots so people can take pictures, yes? Okay, that is good, excellent. Another one? Mm, Tony Romas. Okay, tell me, why do you recommend Honey Romas? I think the food is delicious. The, it's, it's not too expensive, I think. It, it's okay for me. Um, they have a, a parking lot. And it's a really clean place to, to eat with the family or with your your co-workers, mm, what else? And I think and that also, they, I think also that they, they offer uh, uh, a gift for the, uh, um, a dessert or little cake for the birthday boy or birthday girl, yes? I, I don't remember that, but I I remember that they, they always have promotions, like, Dos por uno, me acuerdo. Okay, pay one and get two. 
Page yes. one gets two. Okay, great. Excellent. And the environment is nice because they have a smoking and non-smoking area. Yes? That is yes, also teacher. important. Yeah. Because imagine you are sick of your throat or you cannot stand the smoke. Then you don't have to, to be there. So they have smoking and non-smoking areas. So when we analyze the different restaurants, you see the strategies that they have. Yes? Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Abrego. Now, another participant? Me, another yes, Edward Flores. I remember visiting the Balconis restaurant, or Balcons restaurant in Hotel Holiday Inn Hotel near to airport, Comalapa. And then it's, very, it's very cleaner. Eh, eh, a ver, voy a tratar de armarlo. Eh, they have uh, different menus per day. For example, eh, in Monday, eh, they have uh, Italian food. In Monday, Tuesday, and, and French food. In Wednesday, eh, China. And Thursday, eh, Variet. And Friday is a uh, dos por uno. Pay one, get two. Pay one, get two. And in a, in a, ¿cómo se le dice? ¿Cómo se le dice? ¿Cómo se le dice? Mm. Eh, all you can eat and ¿Cómo se le dice esto cuando puede agarrar de todo? Pero, ¿qué es? All inclusive. No, pero tiene otra frase. Buffet. Pero lo que es que todo, todo lo que esté en la, en la mesa, usted lo puede agarrar. Buffet. Ah, buffet. Ah, buffet, buffet, yes. Ah, buffet. They have a buffet. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they... And also, you, they have the two choices, buffet and a la carte. Yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And give me a, one bottle of wine. Is is really is really okay. It's that really was the drink, the bottle of wine. Yes, is is really is really good. It's really pretty because. Uh, and the price, uh, the price. I will be the price. For example, in the two for one, those twelve dollar. Really. Yes. Really. Oh wow, that's good. <gasps> uh, I I visited. <laughs> Two or three or three times. Both times. Okay. Both. Excellent. Very well. So you see, now we are, uh, according to your experience, you are sharing the different strategies that the restaurants have. Okay. One more participant. Hello. Um, Dragon Dorado. I like Dragon Dorado. Hey, Chinese food. Tell us the yes. good features of uh, that restaurant restaurant mm -hmm. uh delicious food uh, a good parking uh clean is limpio nice decoration y eh, no sé cómo se dice ambiente agradable nice environment environment nice environment Okay, and what about the prices? Good prices. Uh, good, good prices. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So you see, we're going to be talking a lot about that. And uh, one more? Nobody else wants to share. Uh, or Maybe later. Okay, Miss Minero, tell me. Um, I like Penihana restaurant. Um, my kids love hot there because always there is a chef and there the menu is soup salad and special rice fried rice and meat chicken mushrooms vegetables and you can choose the Drink it once, and there, if you want, there, there is sushi too. My, my girl, 
and my husband, they, they love sushi. sushi. Okay, yes. great. So the, the best part in that restaurant is the varied menu. Yes, a variety of food. Yeah. Yeah, and the in the show, I mean the chef. They he, are the chef, he, yes. He cooks in front of, of you and okay. they love the, the show. Yeah, Benihanas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and also you can try with the egg. Yes. Yes. And, yeah. and you well, there are some people who my make kids, it, but most of the people they don't make it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. my kids always like to to try to. Yes, everybody wants to try that situation. Okay, with yes. the egg and the and the rice. Okay, thank you so much. Great, excellent. So you see, different uh, restaurants have uh, different attractions. Yeah. Okay, but now, by now, let's uh, stop it. And let's continue with the other part of the class. Yes. And here we go. Practicing a conversation, asking and telling information related to marketing strategies. The purpose here for you is to practice a conversation, asking and telling information related to marketing strategies. So let's work first of all as a, as a class. Let's turn your books at page 21. The ones who joined a little bit uh, late, listen to the teacher read the conversation. Later, you volunteer to read the conversation to model it for the class. After that, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, and then you are going to work in pairs and practice the conversation with a partner. After all of you have practiced the conversation, you are going to answer the questions considering the information given in the dialogue, in the conversation. So here we go. I'm going to share the manual because it is, I can magnify it. So the conversation is between Mr. Mott and Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. How's it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Again, hello, Jennifer, how's it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Now I need two participants. One is going to read Mr. Mott and the other one is going to read Jennifer. Okay, okay Miguel Angel, you read Mr. Mott and uh, Evelyn, you read Jennifer. Okay, one, two, three, okay. go for it. Hello, Jennifer, who is going? To... Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who who come in a regular basis. basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about the new marketing strategies and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we send out change the menu. However, we are promote, promoting a dessert every week. Do, you, do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do change. Okay. 
Now switch, switch roles. Okay. okay. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Bot. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategy and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a search every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for your participation. I appreciate. Hello, Jennifer. How, not who, how, how is it going? How is it going? How is it going? The phrase is together. How is it going? How is it? How? How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. Basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, this I sounds like an E, sir. Tell me, sir, how often, how often do we change the menu? menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week do we ever give a promotional item no sir we never do you are going to practice this conversation and you switch roles the same as your partner's model to you when you finish with this practice you go over exercise three because we have these questions comprehension questions based on this information are the instructions clear is it clear what you are going to do? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, I hope so. Remember, we're working at page 21. I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms. Okay. Let me see. And here we go. Please, let me see. If, because there are some people who are just listeners and sometimes i have uh, three listeners and one active student so okay here one, two, three. and join your groups please okay go to your groups I sent you the invitation. Begin practicing, take turns, switch roles, and answer the questions. Okay, thank you. Eduardo Flores. Edward, your group is number four. Okay. Come in. See? Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just, just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just checking the number of, of people who, 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 who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I'm thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. 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 Tell me, sir. Sorry. How often do we change the menu? 
Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promotion uh, desserts every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay. Ahora comienza. <laughs> okay. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am taking, I am think, thinking about you, marketing strategies, and I want to know something. Sim. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the, the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Thank you. Great, continue practicing. Did you switch roles? Yes. And what about Danny? Danny is going to practice with Miss Carla or with uh, Mr. Galdames Calderon. Okay. 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 Hello, Jennifer. Who is going? Permítame que no okay. me carga, no me carga el manual. Pero creo que aquí lo mandaron a WhatsApp. A ver, sí, mandaron la conversación, pero no las pregunta. Uh, I think I okay. have it. Acá está. Okay. Um, what kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer managed? Mm. Hi, Con. Just fine, Mr. Mutt. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. They saw God look I thinking about thinking. me. Uh, thinking about me making the strategy I want to do that so they Thanks. 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 Tell me, sir. How often do we change the me menu? Menu. Menu. Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promo promoting, 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 eh, promoting. There's search every week. Do we ever give promotional items? No, sir. We never do. Okay. <laughs> and Ursula Feli, did she practice? Hello, class. Susan and Areli. Yes. Did yes, you practice, I, Esteli? Yes. yes uh, with Ursula, yes, Reina, Areli, and me. Ah, okay, great. Now listen. You have to answer the questions, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Porque quiero ver, dice... We seldom change the menu, que no, nunca cambian el menu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Y la dos, what are some marketing strategies the restaurant is using nowadays to get more clients? Eh, eh, puede ser ahí este como están en las plataformas restaurantes de tener delivery como pedido ya hubo porque la mayoría de restaurantes están así con plataformas de delivery para poder vender más y también este como los descuentos, como se dice, free. En día específico. Discounts. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Offering. Did you finish the activity? Hello. No faltan las preguntas, dice. Ah, okay. No hay que decir las preguntas. Okay. Questions. The answers to the questions. Yeah. Yes. Do we ever get a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay. Ahora contestaríamos las preguntas. Están en la parte de abajo. Ok.
on Thursday. Number two. Dice, ¿qué tipo o qué restaurante administra Jennifer? ¿Qué tipo de restaurante okay. piensas que maneja Jennifer? Como que fuera, eh, por lo que entiendo en la conversación, eh, algo relacionado a los postres. I think it's a, a restaurant. Um, maybe like don't eat pasta or something like that. And um, no, no encuentro otra cosa. O sea, que es un restaurante, restaurante normal, siento yo, pienso yo, según lo que le entiendo. Porque dice que promociona cada semana. Dice postres. Dice son postres. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Seldon es rara vez. Ajá, rara vez cambian el menú. Uh -huh. Finish teacher. Okay, Miss, everybody participated reading and also answering the question. Yes. Okay, give me one minute so I monitor the other groups and then we get back. Okay, thank you. Okay, teacher. Tell Mister, how often do how often do we change the mean? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. Who is it is going? Really? <laughs> have I, Mr. Moore? I have check, checking the number of People work on irregular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Say me, sir. We change the menu. We will sell or change the menu. However, however, where are promotion the sell every week? week? We ever give a promotional items? No, say we never do. Okay. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. How is, how is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking uh, checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That's a good look. I thinking thinking about thinking. you. I'm thinking <laughs> uh, thinking 
about new marketing strategy. I I am going to know some things. 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 Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever hear a promotion eating? No, sir, we never do. You answer the questions. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. so you finish the practice. Yes. Okay, yes. let's right. return to the main session room. Thank you. Okay. okay. Okay, class, here we go. Now, I have the questions for you. Okay. What kind of restaurant do you think? This is your opinion according to the context of the conversation. What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? Probably. She manages mm -hmm. ah. what kind of restaurant do you think that she manages? A so, dessert restaurant. A dessert restaurant. Okay, this is your opinion. Thank you. We respect it. Another opinion? Hello? Mm, she may manage um restaurant no sería fast food fast uh, restaurant fast, fast food fast restaurant food, fast food restaurant okay fast food restaurant you write it like this fast food restaurant fast food restaurant okay acceptable another opinion only dessert uh, restaurant and fast food restaurant. Because look at this. Um, I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. So it means every day, right? He's making a, how can I say, a study of the customers, the frequent customers. Because uh, I am checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. It means that every day. Yeah, that sounds good. Look, I am thinking about uh, new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu? Mm, well, we seldom, almost never, it means change the menu. However, we are pro promoting 
a dessert every week. So it means that every week they promote a dessert. In other words, that gives you the idea that probably she manages a dessert restaurant or a fast food restaurant because in the fast food restaurants, they offer you, okay, don't you want to enlarge your combo or your order with a soda or with um, a dessert, yeah? And then, so that's why your answers are really, really acceptable. What are some marketing strategies the restaurant is using nowadays to get some uh, more clients? Advertising. One of the best sales that registers is the advertising. No, but here that the restaurant, uh -huh, this restaurant they, is using. Uh -huh, they, they seldom change the menu. No, but that is not a strategy. Promotion. Uh huh. They Promotion. are. They are promoting. This <laughs> a dessert. A dessert every week. Every week. Every week. Every week. Okay, very well. But you know that there are many uh, marketing strategies in order to call the customer's attention. Yeah. But later on, we're going to continue discussing that. But right now, class here, how to use adverbs of frequency? This is just a reminder because you know uh, about the frequency adverbs or frequency words. Adverbs of frequency indicate how often an action takes place. Always, seldom, rarely, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. These are the most common, but remember that there are some others. For example, generally, usually, almost never, yeah, often, frequently, but now, today, we're going to focus on always, seldom, which is kind of similar, kind of. It is a little, a slight difference between seldom and rarely. Sometimes it's 50%, yeah? Hardly ever and never equals zero, nothing. Some examples to use these frequency adverbs are, we often change the menu. We always give away promotional items. They regularly select the new options. So here we have the position. Look at the position of the uh, frequency words. We often, we always, we regularly. They go uh, uh, before the verb. Yes? Do you notice that? That is the position. But notice what kind of verb do we have. Change, give, select. Why? Because if you use the verb to be, what is the position of the frequency adverb? Do you remember? If you say, I am always on time at work. Analyze this sentence. The main verb here is the verb to be. I am always, notice always goes after the verb to be, okay? I need you to think about that situation, the position of the frequency adverbs. When there is no verb to be in the sentences, you place it before. But if you have the verb to be, am, um, is, are, present, or past, or in any tense, the verb goes after the verb to be. Is that okay? Do you have questions about this? Questions or comments? Anybody there? No questions. Okay. Now, what are you going to do? You are going to write sentences about the activities that you do at your workplace. Use the following adverbs of frequency to state how often you do these activities. What do you always do? For example, I, if you... Tell me, okay, teacher, tell me something that you always do. I tell you, I always teach English classes. This is my sentence because I do it every day. This is my routine, correct? Rarely, you are going to write here something that you rarely do. 
I rarely blah, 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 and you mention, okay? Hardly ever, something that you almost never do, but associated to your workplace. Seldom, sometimes, and never. Mm -hmm. Is it clear the instruction? Hello? Yes? Okay, yes, let's go for it. But this is individual, okay? If you have any question, please ask me. Don't be shy, okay, to ask if you have any doubt. Areli, Reina, and the others, are the instructions clear? Yes. Yes, yes? okay. Let's begin working on your routine. Only uh, a question. Okay, Reina, tell me what is your question. Uh, because the bear of Frequency comes before the subject. No. Why? Why? No. Why? Listen, miss. The subject is we, we, they, I. Those are the subject pronouns, okay? So you write the frequency adverb after the subject pronoun when you don't have the verb to be. With any other verb, you write the subject pronoun between the subject, I mean the, the frequency word, between the subject pronoun and the verb. But when you have the verb to be, you place, you write the frequency word after the verb to be. If I tell you, um, I am never late at work i am never late at work okay, okay. or you may say i i never go to work late yes using the two different sentences you may say i am never late at work Okay, or I never, no, get, get to work late. It is the same sentence, the same meaning, but look at the, uh, look at the, at the frequency adverbs here. I am never late because I have the verb to be, um, then I write the frequency word. In the second example, I never get to work because in this sentence, I don't have the verb to be. So I write the frequency adverb before the verb. Is that okay? Reina? Okay. Okay. Yes. Write your sentences. When you finish class, you tell me, please. Remember to write the sentences associated to your activities at work. Ursula Steli finished. Finished, Ursula. Oh, uh -huh. Almost, almost. <laughs> yes, I took a picture of you. <laughs> okay, wake up, wake up. Tomorrow you're going to uh, wake up very late, okay? But now let's finish the sentences. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yes, Danny, tell me. 
Daniel Ernesto. Teacher, how many sentences? One, two, three, four, five, six. You have to write six sentences. Okay. One, one using always, one using rarely, one using hardly ever, one using seldom, another one using sometimes, and another one using never, okay? Almost finished class. Yeah. Yeah, more or less. Okay, thank you. Don't forget to let me know when you finish, okay? Finished, yeah. teacher. Okay, uh, Mr. Abrego, you finished? Yes. Okay, would you please read your sentences as a model for the class? Okay, I always uh, get to work at 7 a.m. I rarely attend meetings. I seldom drink milk. I hardly ever play video games. I sometimes sing um, when I drive into my home. I never cook my breakfast. Okay, thank you. You use correctly them as the frequency words. But remember, state how often you do those activities at work, yeah? Okay. For the, the rest of the class, uh-huh. Write sentences about the activities you do at your workplace. Thank you so much, but your sentences were okay. The correct word order, very well done. Uh, somebody else? Knock, knock. Miss Ursula Esteli Gomez Martinez, thank you so very much. We are willing to listen to your sentences. Please be our <laughs> guest. Begin. Uh -huh. uh, I always arrive early at work. I seldom arrive um, early at home. I rarely um, Take take lunch in the office. No, so sorry. I rarely go to visit customers. I sometimes uh, go out for lunch. I ha hardly ever go out of office, and I never work on Sunday. Great. Congrats, Miss uh, Esteli. You did it great. Very well. Another participant? Rosalie, please. Yes, teacher. I always review documents. I rarely attend meetings. I hardly ever answer calls. I seldom archive documents. I sometimes answer emails. I never clean the floor at work. 
you never clean the floor at work. Excellent, very well, great. And now let's listen to the next participant. Who else is ready, class? Come on, come on, you can do it. Me teacher. Okay, Miss Susan. I always wear a uniform at work. I rarely miss work. I hardly ever use the eh, elevator, elevator, ¿cómo se dice elevator? Elevator. Elevator. Elevator at work. I seldom go to the clinic at work. I sometimes, I have breakfasts in my work. I never late at work. I am never late uh, at work, okay, or for work. Very well done. One more participant. Come on, hurry up. You Me can do it. Okay, thank you, Edward. I always clean in the window every every morning in, a, in the work. I rarely drive in a far cliff truck. I sometimes arrive, arrive late of work. I hardly ever absent at my job, and I have never received a work certificate, and I seldom, I seldom hear and submit at work. A piece of the meat and a cup of coffee. Okay, good. That was funny, but real. Thank you. But the you use correctly the frequency words. Another participant class. Thank okay. you, Jennifer Beatriz and Edwin. After Jennifer, okay, ladies first. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay. okay. you are a gentleman. Okay, Jennifer. <laughs> Mama. I always make coffee for my class for my employers. I'm sorry. Mama. I am literally. Tengo un momento. Que sea de sus papas. Okay. I am readily late at work. I hardly ever use my personal phone at work. I seldom went early from work to home. I sometimes call clients and I never like to my bus. Very well, congrats. Great. And now, Mr. Edwin Esaú Galdames. Okay. I, over, I always rest on Wednesday. I rarely rest on the holidays. Yes. Um, and next, hardly ever. Mm -hmm. I I am hardly ever the house. I am hardly ever at home in the house. A uh, house in the house. Really? Okay. Only <laughs> only only work. Oh, day. yes, poor little thing. <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> and oh, no, never? In some things, I in have... times. And sometimes I have training and how do you say, via? Via. Uh-huh. At the via. 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 via soon. Ah, no, online. Online. Oh, okay. Online. Sometimes I have training online. Okay. And never, never me, I take my lunch breaks. You never take uh, my lunch, lunch breaks. In the breaks? No. Yes, yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Excellent. One more participant class. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Evelyn. I always eat the dinner early. Yes. I rarely go at the field. Okay. I get up. No, I sometimes 
get up at five o'clock a.m. Um, I seldom play video games. I hardly ever arrive late at the work. I never I never sleep without praying. I never sleep, I go to sleep without praying. Very good, excellent. Yes. Do we have one more participant class? Hmm. Okay, now we go over the, the next activity. Look at this. Look at this uh, uh, image that we have in your manual. Change the menu, rotate, shift, new dessert, promotional item. Okay, October 2023. Let's imagine. Look at the graph. Here is the graph showing how often three branches, you know the meaning of branches, correct? Branches, sucursales, of, an, of a restaurant do promotional activities during a month. Then as a classmate, how often each branch does promotional activities? And write your classmates' answers in the chart, okay? I'm going to ask you, hey class, how often does the restaurant branches change the menu? Look at this. This is the graphic for change the menu. The graph for change the menu. How often do they change the, the menu? Here you have the menu. How often? You have in San Salvador, it's in blue. In La Paz, it's in dark yellow. La Union is in green. And the kind of brown orange is Susulutan, okay? So how often do they change the menu according to this? Always, sometimes, San Salvador, how often do they change the menu? According, 11, yes, no, 12, but they, 12. Yes, but tell me according to the frequency words. Sometimes, always, usually, hardly ever, never. Seldom or always? So be usually or sometimes? Mm, sometimes is uh, for almost 50%. Usually then. Usually, okay. And now, how often do they change the menu in La Paz? La Paz is the one that is close to San Salvador. Really? Rarely, okay. And how often do they change the menu in La Union, the green one? How often do they change the menu in La Union? Oh, it could be kind of hardly ever. And what about Usulutan? This is Usulutan. Always. Always. Always, very well. Always. Now, how often do they rotate shift in San Salvador? Ay. San Salvador is the blue. How often? Hardly ever. Kind of hardly ever. And La Paz and La Union, the same. So how often do they rotate Some, shift? Sometimes. 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 But sometimes it's more than hardly ever. And hardly ever is higher than, than La, La Paz and La Unión. Maybe, maybe in San Salvador sometimes. And rarely maybe in La Paz and La Unión. And what about Usulután? This one? How often? Okay, always, seldom, rarely, sometimes, hardly ever, or never. It is in... Sometimes. Sometimes it could be. 
how often do they uh, give new dessert? Or do they have new dessert? In San Salvador, the blue. Usually. Usually. I know, La Paz, look at this little yellow. <laughs> Maybe. Hardly ever, right? Hardly ever. <laughs> and what about La Unión, the green one? Rarely. Rarely. And Usulután, this one, the last one. Sometimes. Sometimes. And the last one, promotional item. How often do these branches have a promotional item? In San Salvador? Always. Always. Mm -hmm. And what about um, La Paz, the yellow one? Hi. Um, La Paz. Rarely. And La Unión, the green one. La Unión. Hardly ever. And Usulután, the last one. How often? Sometimes. Mm, it could be said that sometimes, okay? Now, class, what are you going to do? Ha ha, we get back to the conversation. You replace these names by your names, okay? But remember that you have to say just find Mr. or Miss or Mrs., but you say the last name of your partner. Yeah, you don't say hello, Jennifer. No, you say hello, Guillermo, Eduardo. Hello, Reina. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Carla, and so on. Okay, but here, Mr., Miss, or Mrs. Yeah. Okay, but the last name of the person. Is that okay? And here, you are going to say, uh, how often do we change the menu? And then you say, well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting, and here you have to change the item that you are um, promoting for the restaurant, okay? You don't say dessert. What would you say that you are promoting in a restaurant? A discount? A free delivery? Okay, what else? Um, free dinner, maybe? Or uh, pay two and get three? Yes? Use your creativity. Is that clear, class? Is it clear what you are going to do? Hello? No. Why? Okay. You are going to work in the breakout rooms. You work with a classmate. You are going to use this conversation as the basis. But you are going to replace, you don't use this name. You use your real names. The conversation goes like this. Only the thing that you are going to change is the item that you are promoting right now, okay? You are going to replace dessert. Dessert. Hi. Hey, what happened? Okay. Hmm. Only that word is the one that you are going to replace you eliminate dessert and you use another item that you are promoting and you change these names by your real names, okay? You practice and then you present it to the class. But before you go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to call the second attendance because it is mandatory for me. It is an obligation. Rosalie Bon. Present. Thank you. Sonia Esmeralda, are you here? Present teacher. Thank you. Susan Caroline, are you there? Susan, absent. Present teacher. Uh, Estoy... Okay, here I am. <laughs> Ursula Me Esteli. cuesta activar el micro. Esteli, where are you? Esteli is absent. Okay. Then... Present teacher. Uh, present. You see... Mm, okay. Then Ana Cristina is absent, Andre is absent, Areli, yeah, Present she's here. Teacher. Carlos Enrique is absent, Daniel is present. Always here. Thank you, Dani. 
David Emanuel, absent today. Daisy Caroline, absent. Daisy. Edwin Esaú. Here. Ah, you're here. Okay, you came a little late. Uh, Elisa, uh, Miss Carla, are you here, Carla? Okay, you're here. Evelyn Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego. Present. Here. Hilly Bong. Okay, thank you, Miss. Henry Giovanni, absent. Jennifer Beatriz. Present. Always here. Juan Eduardo. Juan Eduardo, absent. Present, 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 present. Catherine. Catherine. Present. Okay. Present. Katia. Kati, Kati, absent. Don't answer it later, I'm here. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Maritza. Miguel Angel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Noé, where are you, Noé? Absent, Noé. Mm. I can't believe it. Oscar Eduardo. Absent. Oscar Humberto, always absent. Reina. Just in Present. time, Reina. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and you practice the conversation with your partners, okay? Remember, you use your real names and you don't say, ah, oh, we are promoting a dessert. No, we are promoting a special discount today, this week. You use your creativity in there. Mm, let me see. Oh, 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 oh. I know, okay. Um, maybe like this, it's better. Okay, join your groups. Five minutes to practice the conversation. Go to your groups. Join your groups, please. And begin practicing. Speaking practice, speaking practice. Teacher, a mí no me sale para unirme al grupo. But you are in group number three. You were, where were you? That you didn't see the invitation. Where were you? Donde andaba? No, I can't. Ah, no. I'm going to transfer you to another group and then I get you back to your group, okay? Here we go. I'm going to send you the invitation. Okay. <laughs> okay, go to your group. You see it? Yes. Okay, Sonia. Son dos. Y tenemos que colocarle el nombre de, de nuestra pareja, digamos. Por eso, si quieren dos y dos, no, no sé. Uh -huh. Guillermo, puedes okay. practicar conmigo. Si quieres, lo hacemos ahorita. No, listen, oh, but here all of you are active, ¿ok? Let me check if I can remove one. And oh. because in one group I have three people. The others are listeners. Ok. Ok. Rosalie, would you mind if I move you? ¿Hay problemas si la muevo a otro grupo, Rosalie? No, no, no. Este no, perdón. No. Ah, I, I, ok, a Rosalie la voy a... Ok, Rosalie. Sí, está bien. Okay, no so you can practice with three partners. Ok, thank you. Now you have the perfect matching. Begin practicing, please. <coughs> ok. Carla y Lidia, hello, Carla, how are you? 
going? Entonces se me va a decir, choose find Miss, Miss Reina, por ejemplo. Eh, I am just checking. Todo es normal hasta llegar a la parte donde dice, well, we shall not change the menu. However, we are promoting. Ya no vamos a usar a dessert every week, sino que otra estrategia diferente. La que nosotros tengamos en mente. Yes. Sí, así, así es. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿quién te anima? But listen, here we go. There are five people here. Because Reina is not a listener anymore. She is active right now. So Reina is going to practice with... ¿Con quién va yeah. a practicar Reina? ¿Con quién, Reina? Eh, you have Carla. Ross. Ah, you, oh, ¿con quién? ¿Con Carla? Carla, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, Carla en Reina. Okay. Edwin Esaú, your partner is Yvonne or Rosalie? Both. <laughs> Ajá, tell me. ¿Cómo sería el fin de con descuentos? <laughs> ah, discounts. Weekends uh, with discounts. Weekends with discounts. Weekends with discounts. Okay, so Edwin, you practice with uh, Yvonne and Rosalie, you practice with Yvonne. Okay, Yvonne is going to practice two times. Is that okay? Yes? Yes. Okay, let's begin the practice. Reina and Carla, please. Please, please, please. Yes. Um, hello, Carla. How is, how is, how is it going? Oh, pay one, get two. Yes, pay one, get two. O sea, paga dos, y, paga uno y te lleva dos. ¿Cómo es, dice? Pay one, get two, Edward. Yes, that's it. Dice pay one. Get two. Okay, I see here. Get two. Yes. Okay. Hello, Susana. How is it going? Just fine, Mrs. Sonia. I am just checking the number of people uh, who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am sensing. Uh, about new mercury strategies and and I went to new something something. Tell me, Miss, how often do we change the menu? Well, we the. I we will always change the menu. However, uh, we are promoting a search every month. Do, uh, do we ever give a promotional item? Yes. Uh, yes, Miss, we sometimes do. Okay. Okay. No sé si a Arelio y Evelyn van a practicar. Yes. No sé si Arelia está conectada. Sí. Yes. Yes. Hola. Hola. Ok. Practicamos entonces. Um, ok. Empiezo yo. Okay. Hello, Arely. How is it going? Fast five, Mr. Prometeme, se me salió. Evelyn. 
Ay, fine, mis... <ríe> Se me fue el nombre. Evelyn. Evelyn. I have... I have... The... The... No, taking the number of people who are coming on a regular basis. Mm, that sounds good. Look, I'm taking, thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know something. something. Tell me, see. Mm. How often do we change the men menu? Uh, where we always the menu hardware we are pro promoting uh the fair every week no mm. yes. do we ever give a promotional leading No, no fear. We never do. Okay. Uh, uh, teacher, una pregunta. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes, as I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, la palabra ser es para solo para caballero o no, oh, only for a for a for a man, a gentleman, sir. For a girl, you say ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am means madam. Yes. Okay. Ma'am. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Ahora le toca a usted Are, Areli. Bueno. Permíteme. Hello, Evelyn. Hi, hi, it going? Just fine, Mrs. Mm, Areli. I'm just checking the number, number of people who come in a regular basis. That's a good look, I. The king about the marketing strategy. I want to know some thing. Tell me, mom. How often the, the, do we change the menu? Mm. Well, we usually change the menu Okay, did you finish the conversation? Yep Okay, let's return because um, it's almost time Yes Thank you. Here we go. Okay, class. Here we go. Here we go. And uh, we're going to listen to some of you practicing the conversation, but let me see mm. while the others get back. I have one group still working. 
but in 25 seconds they will be back. Stay here for a while, please. Okay. Don't go away. Okay, Mr. Abrego Ramirez, who was your partner? Mm, let me see. It was. Let's see. They are not here. Mm. <laughs> really? That's very rare. Yeah, I promised. Okay, I'm going to tell you. No, it's it Catherine. Yes, yes. Catherine, where are you? Yeah. Yeah, here. she's here. Catherine is here. Okay. I'm here. Okay, practice. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, hello, Catherine. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Guillermo. Um, I'm just checking the number of people who can on a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, uh, Guillermo. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are uh, promoting a different toy uh, that is included uh, for the purchase every, every week. That is a fast food restaurant, right? Do a promotional item. No, Guillermo, we never do. Okay, thank you so much. Activate your cameras, please. One, two, three. Okay, a nice smile. Great. Okay, listen. I need uh, Miss Hill Yvonne to stay with me after the class. Is that okay, Miss? Please. Necesito que se quede conmigo, Yvonne. Ahora. Okay. For the others, have a good night. Enjoy your long weekend. Happy Independence Day. And see you next session next Monday. And continue working on the platform. Okay, have a good night. Thanks for joining for the sacrifice. But you practice a lot. Bye-bye. God bless good you. Bye-bye. Only bonus stays with the teacher. Uy, only bonus have a long weekend. Have a nice weekend. Okay, here I'm sharing the picture. Okay, Miss Yvonne, here we go. Bye bye, Eduardo Flores. Happy weekend, Eduardo Flores. Thank bye. you. Bye, teacher. <laughs> it was good to have you in class. Bye bye. Okay, Miss, <laughs> here we go. Okay, let's practice this conversation. One thing, let's remember that when we use Mr., you have to use the last name of the person. I cannot say uh, Miss, uh, for example, just find Miss Yvonne, no. I have to say just find Miss Menjibar, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's practice this conversation. I am Mr. Matt and you are Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer, uh, how is it going? Actually, we're going to use Okay, the, the title. So you don't say, just find Mrs. Carballo. You tell me Mrs. Carballo, okay? Mm -hmm. Hello, Yvonne. How is it going? Uh, just fine. M Mrs. Mrs. Carballo. Carballo. I am just checking the number of people who 
come in a regular basis. Mm, that sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. No, this is one other thing that I'm going to explain to the class next Monday because we say, tell me, ma'am, sir is only for a man, mm -hmm. but for a woman, you say like this, but this word is taken from French and it is pronounced ma'am. When you don't say the last name of the man or the gentleman, you say sir. Okay, but you don't say even the name. And you say ma'am for a woman, a lady, when you don't say the last name of the woman. Yes? So you say ma'am. Repeat after me. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma Excellent. Very well. And now I continue. How often do we yeah. change the menu? Well, well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promo um, promoting we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, no, madam. Ma okay. <laughs> we never do. Excellent. Now we switch roles. Uh, hello, Yvonne. Ah, oh, no, you begin. You tell me hello, Irma. You, you begin the conversation. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, Irma. Tell me. Uh, Irma? Uh-huh. Hello. Uh, hello, Irma. How is it going? Just fine, Mrs. Menjibar. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, ma'am. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promo promotional item? Uh, no, miss. Uh, no, ma'am. We never do. Item. In America, they say item. Okay? Not item, item. but item. Uh -huh. I am. Okay, so we say, repeat after me, please. Ma'am. Ma'am, sir, sir, how is it going? How is how uh -huh. is it going? But together, how is it going? How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? Ah, uh -huh. very well, great, excellent. Mm -hmm. You did it very well. And now let's practice this other conversation between Will and Orson. Okay. You are okay. Will and I am Orson. You begin. This kitchen looks look great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, but... Doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. All he does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Now let's switch. I am Will, you are Orson. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Uh, Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. 
George does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Very well. So you see, we are practicing the conversations. And here, <laughs> let's see. No, read paragraph two. Be good communicator, okay? Only paragraph two. Okay. Be a good communicator. You uh, should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, speaking, uh, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face to face. Good communication is a two way street. You will require require. Uh, you required. Will you will be, be required. required to routinely update your employees on their and the team performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper main, 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 management 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 and customer and provide state status. A status information we we ask when asked when asked when asked, asked. asked. okay asked. very well now effectively effectively presentations presentation visual presentations visual presentation public speaking public speaking Teleconferencing. Teleconferencing. Two way street. Two way street. Very well. Okay, so the last one. Be technically proficient. I'm going to read and later you read the paragraph. The products we create are not, not so are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C number but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, having watched Happy Feet or the March of the Penguins does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. Now you. Oh. <laughs> the products? <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> be tech. Technic technically uh, technically proficient. Uh -huh. The the products we create at North North South, North South. North South mm -hmm. are technically complicated. You don't need to be to be oh. able to call in C number, but you shall be able to give technical guidance and guidance 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 guidance, uh, guidance and decide the best strategies and methods uh, for success mm -hmm. and no having watched happy feet or the march of the penguin does not quite um, qualify you qualify you as technically proficient in linux excellent miss thank you so much <laughs> okay <laughs> thanks a lot i really appreciate slowly you. slowly yeah. uh -huh. slowly but sure okay 100 percent <laughs> nice so have a great long weekend happy independence day have a good night be careful during the week with the heavy rains and see you next Monday. See you in the next session, okay? Bye-bye. Okay. Take care. It was Bye. a pleasure. Have a good, good night. night. Bye, Miss.